I think that the NBA players are very fortunate that they have the financial position where they're able to take a night off from work without uh, having to to have uh, the consequences to themselves financially. So they have that luxury, which is great. There's a lot of uh, activism, and I think that uh, they've put a lot of slogans out. But I think that what we need to do is turn that from slogans uh, and, uh, and, and signals to actual action that's going to solve the problem. And your reaction, sir, to the NBA uh, protest yesterday against another shooting of a black man by police? I don't know much about the NBA protest. I know their ratings have been very bad because I think people are a little tired of the NBA, frankly. Uh, but I don't know too much about the protest. But I know their ratings have been very bad, and that's too — that's unfortunate. They've become like a political organization, and that's not a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing for sports or for the country. So, Joe, President Trump's focus is on the NBA's ratings, not addressing why they walked out of the games two nights ago. But I just have to go back, because I bet your jaw is down as far as mine, that Jared Kushner has some thoughts about no. entitlement when talking about NBA players, who many of whom, by the way, have come from absolutely nothing and worked their way to be the stars they are. Yeah, where Jared Kushner inherited, like Donald Trump, all of his money. And... You know, Reverend Al, Jared, Jared Kushner talks about having the luxury to take days off. Every time things went bad in the White House, Jared Kushner would fly to Aspen or some other luxury resort. <laughs> so he wasn't in Washington, D.C. when things were hitting the fan. I mean, he, he was cowardly at the beginning of this administration. He's cowardly still. He's a guy who who his dad paid money. And uh, many people believe it's why he got into Harvard. He was an average student. He's ill-equipped. Uh, to do anything that he's been doing over the past four years. He continues to fail upward. Uh, he flies off to luxury resorts all over the world. He hangs out uh, with uh, Saudi Arabia's uh, leader for long weekends, lives in the lap of luxury, and he's criticizing NBA players for, quote, taking a night off, having the luxury to take a night off. Uh, there are no mirrors in the White House, there are no mirrors in the Kushner household. There are no mirrors in Donald Trump's household. They are so remarkably unaware of just how hypocritical they are. Not only are they not mirrors and they are not able to look at themselves, I think that they show an insensitivity to the American people which is why you see so many people of all races. You see as many whites and sometimes more than blacks at a lot of these marches that are just stunned by the lack of concern and sensitivity to what's